Hello and um, welcome to the daily attendance report that I'm going to take you through. This is going to replace uh, the spreadsheets that I send out to you um, with the analysis. I'll still review it um, in there, but it should be able to uh, well, give you constantly live um, uh, data on the previous day's attendance. And also as well, it's a bit faster than the spreadsheet. Um, it gives some links into the timetable so it's better. Um, should allow you to review your daily attendance um, of, for the previous day in detail and with the problem students that you want to focus on in about 10 to 15 minutes um, in time. So it's, it's very fast uh, and is really a, a key part of your, your arsenal of, of in, to improve attendance. So I'm going to take you through how to open it. So first of all, step one, you're going to open up the internet and you're going to pick uh, the ProSolution uh, symbol, uh, third, third one down in the middle column. Yeah, so you're going to click that and there, uh, and ProSolution is going to open for you. And when ProSolution opens for you, you're going to go across into the reports and you're going to pick the one option that's available to you, Central Reports. There's only one option in there, and you're going to click that, and that will then bring up the available reports that you, you can pick from. And uh, some of you will have already picked some of these uh, previously. You'll see now, uh, you're going to scroll down, and there's a new report in there called Daily Attendances, Maths, English, 16 to 18. And that is going to be the daily attendance report uh, for the previous day uh, on your main course and your maths and your English. Okay? And it's for 16 to 18 year olds. So the, the things that you need to get in the, in the English and maths. So you're going to scroll down to that, that report and you're going to click in it. And then you need to click across and go across and click on the magnifying glass as well. There's no options within this report, but then to get the report to actually run, you click on the little magnifying glass that's, that's highlighted as well and then your report's going to run. And it's going to run and it's going to open. And it opens and it provides uh, the main attendance, you know, the, 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 the program, the attendance on your main program. So what do they do? The vocational bit that the, that the students all like. And it will also show you the attendance on the English and the maths just for the previous day. It's going to allow you to really sort of focus on what, what was happening in the previous day uh, and, and, and we're going to go through. So you're going to click on that uh, and then go along in the next bit and you click your department, the one that you're interested in reviewing, and there, click on the little plus sign and it will open up uh, that department's courses. Now what this will do then is it will allow you to look at the department courses and, and you can sort of see, well, I, if it was me, I, I've, got, I've got three things that I, I want to have a look at. So I want to look at the main, the, the, um, the attendance on the main vocational course. Is something going wrong there? Um, is there um, a low level of attendance on the main program? that I might want to have a look at and what's what's driving this. Sometimes you'll see that this might be students who um, come in for the morning and then they've all cleared off with their mates in the afternoon. And that's that's one option. Alternatively, you might not have timetabled that well. Uh, you might have put a quite big big gap in the middle of it. Let's say, I don't know, your timetable at 9 o'clock you know, for an hour. Then you've left a big gap and they start again really sort of at 12 or 1 o'clock and they thought, well, actually, you know what, I'll come in for 12 or 1 o'clock. That's, that's another option, and especially if you don't have, uh, it might also be a sign though that, the, 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 um, you haven't had any assignments sort of set for your students as well, because they've got nothing to get on with. So they think, well, I've got nothing to get on with, I'm not going to just sit around for, for um, you know, two or three hours, I'll, I'll come in at a later point. Um, so you'll have a question, is there an issue with the attendance on the main programme? The second thing then is going to be in maths and English. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on, on your, your courses, and... First of all, you might want to be interested in the, 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 um, the attendance on the main program. But secondly, you might want to look for, well, is there a level of attendance on the maths and English course that's significantly lower than the vocational course? Typically, it will be a little bit lower. Um, typically, a student who requires maths and English is not as diligent as a student who already has maths and English. They will typically have a lower, lower attendance, not by much. Uh, but a little bit in there. So if you're sort of expecting them to perfectly line up in there, um, you'll be a little bit disappointed. They won't. Uh, they'll be the maths and English will, will run a couple of percentage points lower. But once you get past a couple of percentage points, you've probably got a bit of an issue, um, unless it's, it's statistically being bent. You know, there's there's a class or there's there's 40 attendance marks on the vocational course, and there's only five available on the on the um, on the maths and English. And it might be that yeah, those with a couple of people who are just off. So, but mainly. Should be a little bit lower, or will be a little bit lower, um, but not significantly lower. If you then uh, look at it and uh, you're actually looking at a course, and you're going, well, actually, yeah, I can see that the maths and English is significantly lower on on the um, on the maths and English course than on the main qualification. You've probably got an issue. 
So you click open on that course, and what will happen is the students will, will open up, and you'll see the students' individual attendance on their main provision, and you'll also see their attendance marks on their maths and English course as well. So uh, here we have a student. Um, I've blanked out you know, the, the department and the and the courses there, but we have we've opened up I've opened up a course. You've got some students here, and they are attending their their main program. Uh, so they all turn up. And they, they they like that. Uh, that 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 cheers them up. Um, but they aren't attending uh, on the maths and English uh, part of their program. So they've not attended not attended that. Although in in here, what we actually have this student I selected. Is this is interesting, you know, they, they've only turned up for two of the three sessions, um, that's an interesting thing to look at, and they work they're here for their maths and English, so um, question, alarm bells will be raised, well, is there something about the timetable when, when they turned up, or is it that they decided to clear off before the maths and just clear, the, let's say, a whole afternoon out, or something like that, have we, have we, let, have we created maths and English morning or afternoon? So, if you have um, a student that's attending on the main qual, so they've, they've come along to the main on the main the main vocational qualification, and they're attending on that because they like that, but aren't attending their English and maths, that student will turn red in the English or maths attendance, and uh, which, whichever one they didn't they didn't attend to, so it'll it'll turn red, um, and that's highlighting to you that there's an issue. Now to make this faster, in terms of being able to then track it down and see what's going on, you'll see that the student's um, reference is highlighted in in yellow. The, the, the yellow cells contain, contain the student reference numbers. I sort of blocked out a few so that you, you, don't, you can't go and work out which, which department this is. And then, but you can click on that, and that will take you out to the student's register. So on this course, I've left, I've left the, the first four characters of a maths course and the, and the name. So we can see that this student here um, had three parts of the vocational attendance to, to turn up to. And they also had a maths GCSE course to, to go to. So let's let's have a look through through here. And what are the questions that we're going to ask ourselves? Well, they didn't attend the, the one of the main vocational um, courses. And what we can see is that there is quite a gap between the end of the uh, first vocational course and the start of the next main vocational course. There, so there's a bit of a gap there. Could be a maths and English, could be English. Um, perhaps might be might have been put in that that um, course. And that does make it a little bit aggressive in terms of um, maths and English day. You know, we, we've got a lot going on, but we do have to have, you know, one day of the three days with, with two courses going on. But you, you want to keep the, that student occupied if they haven't got English um, and really sort of have them with, with some assignments or things that they do that, that make sure that they're, they're doing stuff. This student does have a, have a two and a half hour gap there and thought at nine o'clock better of it and stayed in bed. That's the first thing that you're going to see in terms of, in terms of what, what this report will help, help you with. Um, the second thing, though, is you can see, well, actually, we didn't put a gap before the maths and English class. The maths and English class did run just after the vocational course, so that wasn't a timetabling issue, issue here. Um, this was a, a bit of a teamwork issue. Uh, you know, we haven't sort of put the student through the door, and, and within this college, um, it is the curriculum's, uh, the department's uh, uh, um, responsibility to get that student through the door of the maths and English class. What happens after that is down to the maths and English uh, department, but the actual physical getting them through the door, that's down to the curriculum department and the curriculum manager. Uh, so there has been something, something here. You then have to, as a manager, consider, well, um, was this an issue and an instruction not being followed uh, to, to take the student there? Or was it, you know, and probably what, what happened in this case is that, that the student, the staff member probably took the, the functional school students to their, uh, their English and maths, and, and they, they made it through the door. Um, and there were probably two of them uh, that, that did that, uh, but the GCSE ones uh, also needed to go to a different place, uh, and they they ran off. Uh, so that would be something then to be to be considered by by the curriculum manager. And you'd have to plan your way your way through that. So all told, you can see that this is a very fast way of getting really from an issue at the top level, uh, what the vacation, what the um, what the attendance figures are. All the way through, to very much to what is going on with the individual student, as quick as possible. As quick as possible. It, won't, it can't be any quicker than, than this, and, and it should save you a heck of a lot of time uh, going through it. I hope you enjoy it. I would like you to be reviewing this on on a daily basis to really sort of nail down your attendance. And it should. What it will do is, is it will. Um, if you don't really go through this, you'll have your normal attendance of, of normal sickness, but you will also struggle as well in terms of you'll have attendance loss for. Uh, students that, that really probably were available to attend the classes, and especially the English and Maths classes, but we didn't really sort of coordinate effectively to get through, the, through those doors. So um, 
hopefully you'll, you'll use this and it will help you significantly achieve that and only be losing from genuine sickness. Uh, and good luck with it. Hope you enjoy the, the report. Thanks a lot. Hello and um, welcome.